I'm here to help you with everything. You can't fix the parts without treating the whole. Yeah, no one's treated my whole in a really long time. <laughs> Welcome to Mojo at the Movies. I'm Eric, and joining me today is Liam, who is a member of our Cinephiles Extended Cut podcast. How are you doing, yep, Liam? Not too bad, you. I'm doing good. We went to go see the movie Tully last night. Not Tully. Yeah, not Tully. Tully. <laughs> Tully. Uh, and this is uh, a new movie uh, directed by Jason Reitman, starring Charlize Theron. And we're asking the question, could this movie win Charlize another Oscar? After 15 years. 15 years for Monster. Yes. Yeah, where she went through a major transformation. A very different transformation, I would say. Well, she's gone through another one this time. Yeah. Very different. Uh, she gained 50 pounds. Apparently eating all, all Kraft Dinner or mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. In-N-Out in Burger. Uh, a lot of In-N-Out Burger, a lot of uh, uh, you know um, processed foods at 2 a.m. Yeah. She really packed on the pounds. Um, and she dove right into this character, uh, you know, right off the bat. Well, so let's let's break it down. This is a movie basically about a mom going through some kind of breakdown. Yeah. Um, it's uh, directed by Jason Reitman. It's uh, written by his uh, often partner, yeah. uh, Diablo, uh, Diablo Cody. Cody. They did uh, Juno. Juno and Young Adult. Also starring Charlize. Yeah, exactly. And so she is a mom of. Two, well, three now, right? Yeah. So at the beginning of the movie, she's uh, like about Very to burst. Very pregnant, yes. Uh, and then she has her third baby. Her husband is Ron Livingston, and he's... Uh, he's kind of a bit of a deadbeat. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, he, he kind of reminds me a lot of his character in, uh, in Office yeah, Space. Yeah, he's a bit uh, of a like, slacker dad. He's, yeah, all he's, more all slacker he's doing, than deadbeat. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. All he's doing is playing video games, and she's taking care of the babies, and she's obviously very distressed. And she's having a bit of a freak out, and her brother, played by Mark Duplass, suggests... Uh, that maybe they should get a night nanny. Yeah, and, which uh, I don't know if that's a real thing in real life, but I think it's a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it seems um, to help her for the most part. And that night nanny, uh, who is the titular character here, yeah. I know our fans like when we use the word titular. <laughs> um, so uh, that is played by Mackenzie Davis. Uh, yeah, uh, who's a big up-and-comer now. I think she was, she was in what is considered the best episode of Black Mirror yep. in San Junipero and also Blade Runner, the new Blade Runner movie. Um, and she's great, very charismatic in this role. Um, I think her and uh, Charlize have a great chemistry together. Absolutely. She was, she was luminous in this yeah. particular movie. Sure. And it's funny because, you know, Charlize is someone who, you know, she, she, a couple of years ago she was doing Atomic Blonde and she was like, you know, the, the, the action sex pot. Oh, yeah. uh, and then she can go in a completely different direction and you're looking at Mackenzie Davis and she is more of the kind of sexy character yeah. here whereas uh, Charlie Theron is, is playing much more of a kind of um, bloated, uh, you know, not, not feeling particularly yeah. comfortable with herself type character. It's a very candid performance. I think, it, like, she's really the standout of this movie. Um, I mean, like... You've never. I feel like you've never really seen Charlize like this, where she's like, she's very like, she is very not glamorous. Well, I guess like Monster is very not glamorous, but like it's a very not glamorous role, and it's a movie that like really made me want to call my mom <laughs> after I saw it. Cause <laughs> right. It made me feel a bit guilty about being born because it's, it's not, uh, it's not an easy movie to watch from from a standpoint of of not having a child because you're watching this this person really break down mentally. And, and physically, and she's, she's uh, yeah, I think it's not an easy, easy movie to watch from that standpoint. Well, we should say, so there is 20 years difference between us. Mm -hmm. um, so we're coming at this movie from very different perspectives. And when the movie ended, you looked at me uh, and you said, uh, is this like a horror movie yeah. about parenthood? And I'm, I'm a parent. I, yeah. I watched this movie and every single beat, I was like, yep, been there, know that. I have yeah. exactly that <laughs> same experience. And, you know, there's even... Uh, relatively early on in the movie, there's a montage that just gets more and more intense about like changing yeah. diapers and oh, crying yeah, babies yeah. and monitors going off in the middle. And of the, the audience, night. our audience, was like, it seemed like they were like cringing a lot of the time. Like I heard some audible like, oh, like there's a, a, a shot of her cutting the baby's nails, and everyone was kind of like, oh my god, like I wasn't expecting. See, to see I've that. been there, so yeah. I, it, it's <laughs> it's tough. So I watched this movie with a lot of empathy. I mm -hmm. I felt for the characters, and I wondered. If you know, at, you know, when the credits were rolling, if your experience of the movie was similar to mine, yeah. and then we sat and talked about it, and I do get the sense that we both got the same feeling out of it. It's yeah. that it's, you know, it was written with a lot of care, a lot of insight. Um, yeah. It yes, it made you want to. It 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 gave you that empathy too that you wanted to call your mom and be like, S yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry for being born. For being born. <laughs> exactly. I think almost like that's maybe one of my flaws of the movie is that I, I would have 
like to see some of like the uplifting parts of having a baby because you don't really see that as mostly like a very negative experience for her. Yeah, I think that's true. And, and in fact, I think as a parent who knows what it's like to have all the beautiful experiences yeah. as well, um, you know, that, that part for me was already reinforced just yeah. by nature, you know, you know, having a kid is a beautiful thing. But all too often movies, you know, the, the cliche is, it's the greatest thing in the world, it'll change your life and you'll never have, yeah, for sure. you know, it's all sunshine and rainbows and this movie clearly shows that it's not all yeah, sunshine and rainbows. For sure. I think that's, it, that's interesting to think about too. But there were a lot of funny moments. Oh. There were, you know, it was, it was um, and that's what I mean by it was kind of treated with care, like, you know, the, the, the funny moments, you never felt that this was a tragic story. No, no, no. You know, um, th there is, we should mention, by the way, and having nothing to do with tragedy or not, there are some twists and turns. Yeah, there's some, it, it throws you for a bit of a loop at the end. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it, I, I would have almost preferred a bit more subtlety, but I think I think it, it, it takes some ambitious turns towards the end. Yeah, it almost gets into like magical realism. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You sure. have to kind of suspend uh, and, and just go with it. But what's, what's so good is that the, the team of uh, Diablo Cody and Jason Reitman have kind of created this sense. If you just trust them, you yeah. can go along with it. For and, sure. and I think, you know, I, I loved uh, Juno as a movie, but yeah. I did feel, and, and that really brought Diablo Cody to the forefront of, not many people know screenwriters' names, but she yeah, became yeah. A, ho a household name. Um, I felt that that movie, though, was just a little, it tried a little bit too yeah. hard to be catchy with its sure. with, with its catchphrases. I definitely think there's there's some of that here. Like I think there's some lines that that um, Charlize Theron's character says where I'm like I could see that coming out of Juno's mouth, but it's mm -hmm. definitely I think Diablo Cody has has learned a bit that like you kind of have to be a bit more subtle with with these like one-liners and not just throw them out at the audience. Um, and I, I I really like that. I think like there's some some really funny lines uh, that that come out of Charlie is. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and the movie has the feels. I mean, that's yeah. you know, not not to use the the, the parlance of uh, of a uh, you know a Diablo Cody type, but uh, it just yeah, it, it it gets you right there. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, you know the music was great. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, at, at one point, what was the song at the end? Um, uh, it was um, Hamilton Lighthouser song. It was right. an instrumental from it, but it was uh, very well used towards the end of the movie. Yeah, and th th there were some great montages, uh, the, the great use of music, um, and you know I think it's a, it's also a testament to Charlize that she can go from uh, you know Mad Max to Atomic Blonde oh, to a movie like yeah. this. I think she's got some of the best range, acting wise, for an act for an actress in Hollywood right now. I think uh, I'd love to see where she goes from this. I think she's shooting a movie with Seth Rogen in Montreal, actually. I think. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just down the street yeah. from us. So do you think it it could uh, bag her another Oscar? I mean, it's it's a bit early to say, but I, I hope so. I mean, like I hope she gets some sort of recognition, nomination-wise, or Golden Globes or Oscars. I mean, I think I think it's a performance that, come the end of the year, people are going to be talking about still. Hopefully, they'll remember it by then. I hope so. Yeah. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for being here, Liam. Thank you. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Oh, mom, what's wrong with your body?